They've been described as the masters of the universe. Unless we see unemployment move up, I think it's hard to square that with a recession. Every year, a small village town in the Swiss mountains becomes overrun by CEOs, policymakers, central bank governors, and media outlets from every corner of the globe. After last year's summer outing, the good and the great are back in the cold, and the outlook seems frosty at best. I don't think that we are too deep into recession so far, right? It depends on the industry. But I am personally optimistic that there may not be a recession, or if there is one, it'll be short and shallow. Overall, I sense there's still more optimism here than what's sort of being portrayed relative to this fear of a recession. This year's World Economic Forum, perhaps unlike any other, the title, Cooperation in a fragmented world might be putting it lightly. The global economy is still battling the highest inflation in decades. So I think there will be parts of the world that go into recession this year, but we will choose to ignore that in the parts of the world that are enjoying continued growth. Trust in institutions ebbing. Well, you know the vibe here, because everyone is fairly on the bearish side. Everyone's talking about global recessions. A war raging on the very same continent. It's not a war. It's not a special operation. It's genocide and terrorism. Old friendships tarnished and new alignments taking shape. Add to that the risk the financial system is once again buckling under its own weight. FTX and SBF are not an exception. They are a rule. 99% of crypto is a scam. For one week, an opportunity to speak truth to power. That's Elon Musk, that's Jeff Bezos, that's Mark Zuckerberg. But the fact is that those people worth hundreds of billions of dollars also, at the same time, have literally no interest or conception in their role as stewards for civil society and American democracy. When we see people in the tech industry really struggling, um, the idea of throwing in a, a, you know, flying in a big performer, spending a ton of money on a lavish party didn't make a bunch of sense. And a chance to make sense of it all. We hear from the small group of individuals whose decisions impact all of us.